Hello everyone! Today I'll be taking you through how to solve this problem here. Firstly, the problem asks us to translate Komi sentences in Latin transliteration to English and then to translate English into Komi, given the clues above. So how can we start? There are several ways to do this. How I begin is there are several words above that repeats itself. For example, medic, gully, bird, horse, etc. We can simply start with sentence 1 and 6. They all have the verb summon. Easily, we can identify that this is summon in green. Now to compare sentence 2 and sentence 5. We know both sentences have the word girl. So we can tell that these two words in red that both have the root NYV means girl. Looking through these sentences, we can identify that words in blue are likely to be personal pronouns, and some of them start with letter E, probably means hadn't. Therefore, ON means you, therefore EN likely means you hadn't. Now, to look at the sentence structure here, we, we realise that each sentence in Komi begins with an object, then the subject, and then the verb. Therefore, simply, we get the answer for the first question here. You hadn't summoned the girl. We know the sentence begin with an object. Therefore, the first word in the fourth sentence above means butterfly. We compare these sentences and get that bird is, horse is, gully is, medic is, companion is, Dear is, and the word, and the verb understood is. And if you take a close look at possessive nouns, for example, girls, theirs, they either end with I schwa, n schwa means a reverse e, or s apostrophe. If you take a closer look at verb endings, they end either with L-I-S or L-A-S and L-I-S is in past tense while L-A-S is in future tense. Therefore we get the second answer. Butterfly's companion will understand the girl's dear. When you further compare, you get that boy is and the verb cover is. And knowing L-I-S is past tense and L schwa n is a possessive noun. The third answer should be the boy's bird had covered the medic. So basically we finished translations into English. Second part. We know what medic is and it is a possessive noun here. Voice is the same as sound above and we know that if verb is in front of voice, it ends with es, but here verb is after voice, therefore it does not have the suffix es. And from above, we've already figured out what summon and boy in Kobe is. And don't forget that it is in future tense. And we already know how the sentence structure in Kobe is. So we can easily get the answer here. Second up. We, we know basically all the translations for the words in this sentence. Therefore, substituting Komi language, we know from above, we simply get the answer again. Thirdly, we have the girl will not understand the fourth sound. Again, we know all the translations. Therefore, substituting Komi with its specific sentence structure and word ending we can easily get the answer. Therefore, with the problem we thought that was so hard to solve, it was actually easy. Therefore, with no prior knowledge about language Komi, this problem can be simply solved. Therefore, thanks for watching and subscribe to see more. Thank you.